What's up guys, Jason here. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple and efficient Minecraft Bedrock drowned in squid farm. This farm works on 1.20 and on all platforms of Minecraft Bedrock, whether you play on a phone, tablet, Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, or PC. As you guys can see here, this farm allows you to easily get ink sacks, rotten flesh, and nautilus shells. By the way, ink sacks and rotten flesh can be traded with villagers to get emeralds. For this farm, you'll need 2 chests, 2 hoppers, 2 powered rails, 28 rails, 2 levers, 30 magma blocks, 30 signs, 1 minecart hopper, 2 stacks and 27 ladders, 3 torches, 11 glass blocks, 2 water buckets, 4 stacks and 58 slabs. You can use any type of slab that you want. 3 stacks and 48 soul sand. And finally, about 7.5 stacks of solid blocks. You can use any type of solid block that you want. A couple examples of solid blocks are smooth stone or cobblestone. The first step is to go to an ocean. Once you're at an ocean, go at least 50 blocks away from any land. Once you're at least 50 blocks away from any land, go down to the ocean floor. Then place solid blocks from the ocean floor to the ocean surface. The next step is to build up 130 blocks over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. After you're done building up 130 blocks, go back down to the bottom. Then place ladders from here all the way to the top of the pillar. These ladders will allow you to easily access the farm. By building this farm high in the sky, mobs will not be able to spawn below the farm while you're using it. That will cause more mobs to spawn in the farm. The next step is to place a block over here and two blocks over here. Then place four blocks over here. Now fill in that outline with solid blocks. The next step is to place two chests over here. Now go behind that chest. Then crouch down and place two hoppers over here. Make sure the nozzles of those hoppers are facing that chest. Then place 14 blocks over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. After you've placed those 14 blocks, place 14 blocks over here as well. The next step is to crouch down and place two rails over here. Then place six rails over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now place a power rail at this spot. Then place a lever over here and flick it down. As you guys can see there, that should cause that powered rail to become activated. Now place seven rails over here. Once you have done that, place seven rails over here. Then place a power rail over here and a lever at the spot. Now flick that lever down. As you guys can see there, that should cause that power rail to get activated. Now place six rails over here. After you are done with that step, you should have a rail system that looks like that. The next step is to place 15 magma blocks over here. Now place 15 magma blocks over here. Those magma blocks will automatically kill all the drowns and squids. The next step is to place two blocks over here. Now place eight soul sand over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then place 14 soul sand over here. After you have done that, fill in the outline with soul sand. Once you're done with that step, the farm should look like that. The next step is to go over here. Now place 8 soul sand over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then place 14 soul sand over here. Now fill in the outline with soul sand. After you're done with that step, the farm should look like that. The next step is to place 2 glass blocks over here. Now place two glass blocks over here, and two over here as well. Then break these two blocks. Now place a minecart with hopper over here. Then push it that way. As you guys can see there, that minecart with hopper should travel along the rail system. It will collect all the drops in this farm. The next step is to place a layer of blocks around the soul sand platforms.
After you are done with that step, the farm should look like that. The next step is to place three blocks in one corner. Now extend that three block high wall around the farm. Once you are done with that step, the farm should look like that. The next step is to go over here. Then place a sign over here. Then crouch down and place another sign over here. Now continue placing more signs until you get to that side. Make sure you crouch when you place the signs. Once you're done placing those signs, go back over here. Now place signs from here all the way to that side. After you are done with that step, the farm should look like that. Those signs will prevent water from flowing into the center kill chamber. The next step is to create an infinite water source somewhere near the farm. To do that, first place 4 blocks. Then place blocks around those 4 blocks. Now place water over here and water over here. By creating that infinite water source, you will be able to use 2 buckets to fill in all the water for the entire farm. Now place water at each of these spots. Then place water at each of these spots. As you guys can see there, that should cause the soil sand to be covered with water source blocks. The next step is to place water at each of these spots. Then place water at each of these spots as well. Once you're done with that step, all the soil sand should be covered with water source blocks. The soul sand should create bubbles in the water. The next step is to place 15 slabs over here. Then place 7 slabs over here. Now fill in the outline of the slabs. Once you are done with that step, the farm should look like that. The next step is to place 15 slabs over here. Now place 7 slabs over here. Then fill in that outline with slabs. The next step is to place water at each of these spots. Once you have done that, place water at each of these spots as well. As you guys can see there, that water should flow like that. At this point, fill in and break the infinite water source. Now break all the slabs that are in the water. After you're done with that step, the farm should look like that. It's really important that you place all the water correctly. The soul sand should create bubbles in the water that flows all the way to the top. In this farm, drowns and squids will spawn in the water. They will then get pushed up by the bubble columns into the water streams. The water streams will then push them into the kill chamber. The next step is to place slabs on the walls. These slabs will prevent mobs from spawning on the walls. After you're done with that step, the farm should look like that. The next step is to go down here. Now place three blocks. One, two, three. Then break this slab. Then place 18 blocks over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. After you have placed those blocks, go back down here. Now place 25 ladders over here. The next step is to place a glass block at each of these spots. Now place 3 blocks over here. Then break these 2 blocks. Now place 2 blocks over here, and 3 over here. Then place a slab at each of these spots. Now place a torch over here. That torch will provide light for this area. Whenever you wait up here, mobs will be able to spawn in the farm. That roof will prevent phantoms from spawning while you're waiting up here. The next step is to go back down here. 
and I place a torch over here and a torch over here. Those torches will provide light to prevent mobs from spawning on this platform. I am now going to do a quick fly around so that you can check and make sure I've made this farm correctly. Over here there should be this minecart with hopper collection system. In the middle there should be those magma blocks. The water should look like that. Finally up here there should be this AFK platform. I am now going to show you all how to use this farm. To use it first go up here. After you are on this platform just wait. Mobs will spawn in the water then get pushed over to the kill chamber. They will then get automatically killed. All the loot will get collected by the minecart hopper and funneled into the collections chest. When it is daytime only scoots will be able to spawn. When it is nighttime both scoots and drowns can spawn. Whenever you're done using this farm you can collect the loot down here. It will all be in this collection's chest. I hope you all enjoyed learning how to make this simple and efficient Minecraft bear rock drowned in a squid farm. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out more of the Minecraft videos. Thanks for watching!